Well, listeners, we have yet another winner from the Excellence in Business Awards, and this time it's the Caboolture Sports Club's Laura Morris. Welcome to the microphone, Laura. Thank you very much. Can I hear you? Are you there, Laura? Yes, thank you very much for having us. I'm, I'm having a bit of difficulty hearing you there. I'm wondering if our listeners can hear you as well. Can you speak a little louder, them? Certainly. Yes, thanks very much for having us on the show. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Uh, congratulations on best um, best club, wasn't it? Uh, yes. That we got here. Uh, where are we? Best hotel, uh, restaurant, and club. And the Caboolture Sports Club took that out, I think, again this year. So, Laura, tell us some of the wonderful things that uh, Caboolture Sports Club does. Uh, yes, we're actually a not-for-profit organisation, um, which is quite rare in the local community um, or for clubs generally. So what we do is all our profits go back into the local sporting community um, and also local community uh, groups, charities, schools yes. and things like that. Um, overall, we're a club and we have um, great facilities for our members, including dining. Uh, we also have bars, uh, gaming facilities, uh, lots of live entertainment and lots of great services as well. Yes, yes. And the award, um, what does this award mean to Caboolture Sports? Um, really, it's just a, it's a great achievement for our staff. Yes. Um, the frontline staff who work so hard to, um, you know, make customers' visits memorable every day. Yes, yes. And you, you receive many, many awards, Laura. So does the um, Excellence in business, business Awards, which comes from your local community, uh, is that an absolutely special uh, award. <laughs> it is. Um, it actually it actually means a lot more. I think. Yes. Um, that the local community um, first of all nominate us for the award. We don't nominate ourselves. So no. um, I think that's a great achievement. And yeah, just to be nominated special in itself. But to win, um, you know, even that extra little bit special. Absolutely. And Laura, you also had um, the apprentice uh, apprentice of the year. Um, for the Excellence in Business Awards with little Jennifer Fitzpatrick um, Finlay. Yes, that's right. Yes, um, she was very excited about her win. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's another another credit to her um, that she's been working so hard. Um, she was, first of all, a school-based trainee and now she's been employed as a full-time apprentice at the club, so that's a great achievement for her as well. It certainly is. It certainly is. And, you know, all... Overall, the third award that you won was the Retail Over 10 Employees. So that's three awards that um, basically you picked up in the one evening. Yeah, exactly. It was a very great night and um, we were very, very surprised to receive so many accolades. And um, <laughs> yes, um, we really, we're really appreciative of the local community for um, thinking of us yeah. for the awards. Yes. And is there anything that, that might be happening in regards to... Uh, Caboolture Sports picking up all of these awards and, and especially for the employees as well? Is there some sort of a little, oh, I don't suppose a celebration is necessary because they know they do a good job and get paid handsomely for it but I mean to pick up three awards on the one night, um, pretty fantastic. Yeah, it is great and um, I'm sure we'll um, be letting the staff know early this week that yeah. we've done so well. Mm. Um, we've also got a, um, a reward and recognition program at the club yes, that you does have. Um, yeah, say thank you to our staff quite regularly so I'm sure they'll be um, recognised in that way as well. So. Absolutely and it, and it is more about uh, recognition rather than reward uh, Laura isn't it? Definitely yeah. and um, the staff do just appreciate that recognition. You know. Absolutely. I'm just thinking where, where are the, um, the trophies all uh, standing and hung? Uh, I got got the um, the ferry down to work straight away after the awards, <laughs> and so they'll be prior to place just behind our foyer area. Oh, lovely! So everyone coming in will be able to view them. Certainly will. Yeah. Oh, lovely! We'll look forward to uh, checking that out. I'm just thinking you probably need to to get another shelf built to uh, yeah, we are quite house cool. them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else that you'd like to tell us about Laura while I have you here? Uh, no, we do have um, some great um, live entertainment coming up in September, actually. Ross Wilson's live at the club for our members, so mm -hmm. um, that's on September 1st, and um, it's going to be another big month here at the club, uh, down at the club, sorry, so yep. make sure you come and see us. Lovely. And also you've got, um, we've got the um, Rotary Race Day happening. Yes, that's going to be great. Um, always a great event. Our staff especially love that. They always uh, 
fight for tickets every year. So, good, good. and of course, it's for charity. So, yeah. um, tickets are on sale at the foyer now or online. We're doing it this year as well. So, um, oh, grab your you. tickets. It's always a great day at Caloundra. Yes, yes. And if we have the champagne breakfast at the club and then climb on the bus, yep. uh, you can have as good a day as you want to and know you're going to get home safely. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Laura, look, thanks very much for talking to us this morning. And, again, congratulations to the team at uh, the Caboolture Sports Club. You always do a wonderful job, and as is evident with these three wonderful awards. Thank so you very much. We thank you for talking to us, and we'll look forward to catching up with you very soon. Thank you. Thank you now. Bye-bye.